Sister Ann Compton, the pastor at Main Street United Methodist Church, and I'm here today to bring you our weekly Wednesday Word. We are finishing up our Jesus Revolution worship series this Sunday, and our focus is going to be on loving in a new way. And we are going to be diving into how Jesus demonstrated and taught how to love. One of the ways that Main Street was wanting to, to love on people in the Bedford community during COVID was to how to help reach out to them and still be safe in the midst of that pandemic. And out of that desire to love, we came up with the Blessing Box. This Blessing Box was installed in um, fall of 2020. So we are going on almost three years of using and providing this symbol of love to the community. Uh, it is filled on a, a daily basis uh, with different kinds of items. Uh, usually it's to-go items, items that people can eat while they're still walking around that, that don't need um, a lot of heating up or preparation. Um, and it is used on a daily basis. We have people coming by here and we've had many times people have stopped and told us uh, how important it is to their lives, how it has kept them eating when they weren't sure where they were going to get another meal from. And it is a really tangible way for them to experience the love of Jesus Christ by eating some of these crackers and beanie weenies and different kinds of things out of here. This is one way that Main Street shows love. If you would like to be a part of the, the work of the Blessing Box, whether you are a member or a regular participant here at Main Street or you're just part of the Bedford community and you think, hey, that's a neat thing, I'd love to be a part of it. Anybody can stop and put food in the box, any food that you have. We typically do want it to be something that's easy to prepare or no preparation. And um, you can do that. If you would like to help be a part of the regular uh, stocking of this, you can sign up outside our sanctuary on the list and see who's doing it what day. If it is a burden, to bring in your own food because we don't want this to be a burden to anyone we want it to be a blessing to not only the people that are putting uh, taking the food items but also those who are giving it that they can give out of love and out of caring but if that's a burden for you we do have plenty of food in our food pantry we've been blessed with some monies that were given directly for that and and we use that in good stewardship of providing that food for anyone that wants to help with it uh, they can go into our food pantry pull out some items and use those to to stock the uh, the blessing box so friends I, I just lift up the blessing box I ask that you continue to lift up the ministry that the blessing box has that you pray for this blessing box, pray for uh, those that are stocking it, and pray for those that are receiving from it, that in all ways this will truly be a, a blessing to the Be uh, Bedford community. I want to lift up a few uh, uh, information things to let you know. On September 9th, we are going to go apple gleaning again. That's a Saturday. If you would like to be a part of that work, uh, cleaning apples on September 9th. You can call the church office and let us know you plan to participate and we'll make sure you have the details of where and when and what that's going to look like. Um, there are other days in September that are also available for apple gleaning so if you can't come on the 9th we can put you in touch with uh, Society of St. Andrew and they can let you know the days that they may be having other groups that you could join in and participate with. On September 10th that Sunday afternoon at 4 we are going to be beginning our Methodism 101 classes and this is just a, a look at where we began as United Methodists and how we got to where we are today. So our first class is going to be on September 10th at 4 p.m. and we're going to be looking at the very beginnings of Methodism. We're going to be talking about John and Charles Wesley, we're going to talk a little bit about Francis Asbury and just all of the beginnings of how uh, our denomination and this uh, new expression of faith, this Jesus revolution, 
in the form of uh, the Methodist Church began. And so you can, you're welcome to join us and be a part of that class. And then actually next Wednesday, before both of those, on Wednesday evening, we are going to be having our next text travels where we look at a book and discuss it and, and just see how it uh, can impact our lives and how we live our faith. The book we're going to be looking at is Toxic, in, Toxic Inequality by Robert Shapiro. So if you'd like to be a part of that, we're going to meet at 6 p.m. at Goose Creek Studio to go over that book. You're welcome to come and talk and share, and we can learn together about toxic inequality and how we, as people of faith, can help do something about that because of our faith. Friends, I hope you have a great rest of the week. Um, I do want to lift up everybody who is in... Uh, the path of the storm that's coming uh praying for all of those people who are going to be having bad weather maybe having bad weather right now as i'm recording this that god will protect them and care for them and that those that then provide uh, the needed uh, emergency resources afterwards are able to be there and provide what is needed in that uh, natural disaster that's happening i look forward to worshiping with you friends either in person Sunday morning at 10.30, worshiping with you online. God bless.